Hello, this is DRP. One question that I am um, asked uh, quite often is, um, what would you do if you were given a directive by somebody above you that you disagree with? I remember the first time I was asked that question, I was stumped. I sat there for a minute with my mouth wide open and I mumbled some answer, which I'm sure didn't make sense. But ever since that time, and it was a few years ago, uh, when I was asked that question for the first time that I've been thinking about the subject. And I, I, I think uh, I have a good idea now how I would address that question. So, a um, couple of things. So, first of all, I think uh, most people um, most people in the world um, wake up in the morning and they really, really want to make a difference. They really want... Uh, to do something positive, they do not do not want to harm uh, others. So, um, and also in educational, in the field of education, educational leadership, there is this shared uh, mission or vision. You know, meeting the needs of communities, uh, making sure students succeed and have the skills necessary to be successful, not just at school but in life as well. So, that's one thing. So, um, there is always a possibility that we can find um, intellectual solidarity with, uh, with the person who gives us um, a directive uh, that we disagree with. Um, so there's always a place where we can find agreement. Um, and um, so I think it's important to move the, the focus of the question from, uh, you know, like the power kind of game, you know, I'm being asked to do something, uh, just move it towards, reframe it as uh, what is the purpose of why we're here and, um, and what we, you know, what, what is the goal, overall goal, overarching goal of our efforts, collective goal. Um, the second thing I think is important is to move, um, move the focus um, from opinions, you know, my opinion versus your opinion. Uh, my opinion is better than yours, or vice versa, and move it to evidence. So, um, you know, what is the evidence that we can agree on, uh, that we can look at, and um, to discuss this? So, uh, I think these are two things um, that I think we should uh, consider right away when somebody asks us the question um, of what would you do Um if somebody asks you a directive that it's against uh, what your beliefs are, I think we just immediately, the way to address that is start by reframing the whole discussion into what are we here to do and what is the evidence that we can agree on. And once we establish that, uh, once we reframe it, um, this question, in this matter, it, the rest, the rest of the conversation would just uh, move in the right direction.